First up tonight is Emma Thornton from Berkshire, who, it's fair to say, is feeling more than a little nervous at the prospect of pitching her products. This is something that is completely out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm not really a, um, a showman, <laughs> but I love the industry and uh, I love my brand, so uh, hopefully that will come through. Emma's hoping her planet-friendly business will strike a chord with the dragons. I have a huge passion for everything that's organic, uh, both from an environmental perspective, but also what it can do for our bodies. Essential oils of some sort? I think it looks like oils. But will Emma's offering have what it takes to win an investment? Hi, my name is Emma Thornton and I'm the founder and owner of True Skincare. I'm here today seeking £75,000 in exchange for 5% equity in my business. My background has been centred around the premium beauty industry. It was this experience which gave me an insight into how much it actually cost to make these products and how much water was going into them. Everything within the True Skincare range is certified organic, vegan friendly, natural, made in the UK, Leaping Bunny approved by Cruelty Free International and waterless in formulation. At present, we have six core products on the market, which range from £12 to £17. The range quickly launched with Holland and Barrett in May 2018, followed by Ocado, Birchbox and Boots Online. The brand is now in prime position to expand and I'd love to have a dragon join me on this journey. Waterless skincare is the organic offering from Emma Thornton. I source all of the ingredients and all of the packaging myself, so I know exactly where it's coming from. She's looking for £75,000 in return for a 5% share in her company. First to question the eco-entrepreneur is the den's very own green queen, Deborah Meaden. So, first of all, congratulations on covering all of the angles in terms of water <laughs> and making it available to the general market, because that is a real bugbear of mine. Saving the planet shouldn't cost the earth. So what's your credentials to be able to formulate and come up with these products? Sure, so I used to lead the marketing uh, for some quite well-known brands, so I've worked for Elemis, Gino, and then my last role was with a brand called QMS Medi Cosmetics. How much have you turned over from your start? So first year was um, 27,000, um, then 85 last year, and then this year we're on track to do 250,000 in turnover. Emma's revelation that her company has grown year on year has made a good first impression on Deborah Meaden. And at less than £20 a pop, Sarah Davies wants to delve deeper into the cost of these cosmetics. Emma. Hi. Great product. Thank you. <laughs> the packaging, the branding, the user experience is fantastic. Thank you. But my concern, and I'm hoping you can massively alleviate it because you are a marketing specialist, <laughs> is that the price point feels so cheap that would put me off as a consumer. I would assume that the product must be inferior. I would find it really difficult to jump from the price I spend on this sort of product to jump to this price. Or is that not the consumer you're trying to get, the people who usually spend a lot of money on there? I think with the COVID situation, a lot of people are looking to switch over to more affordable skincare. People are starting to look at ways that they can adjust to their new budgets. Um, but also, as soon as people try the product, they absolutely love it. Um, I don't necessarily agree with Sarah about the product being a low price. Brands like Boots have disrupted the market with serums, anti-aging products at very low prices, Protect and Perfect, some of those brands, and they've gone mass market. So I do think there's a market for it. Have Boots indicated that if the rate of sale is good online, will they put it in store? Uh, that is the intention, yes. Who else would you want to target to get into? In the UK, Marks and Spencers. Uh, Waitrose, Superdrug. The price point is very good for Superdrug. Yeah. Your product does feel very luxurious and the consumer would feel they're getting really good value for money. Praise for Emma from healthcare boss Tejal Alvani, who appears to share her vision for the business's strategy for growth. Will retail giant Tuka Suleiman see a beautiful future for the skincare entrepreneur? So to round up, you're organic? Yes. Waterless? Yes. Well-priced. Yes. And you're ambitious. 
Yeah. How's that? Yes, perfect. Right? And <laughs> yeah, you should be my salesperson. <laughs> I should be your salesperson. Look, I have to be totally honest. I disagree with where you're positioned. I think you might be too expensive. Because not everybody has got the buying power that Sarah here has got <laughs> buying the big brands. And to me, there's two ways to make money. You either put your stake and say, we are a luxury brand, mm -hmm. or we're going to cater for a wider consumer, make it more accessible to those kids who haven't got 50 pounds to spend on, on a serum, but they've got 10 pounds or eight pounds. But I think you're bang in the middle and you will struggle. For that reason, I'm out. Tuka Suleiman takes issue with the product's price point and becomes the first dragon out. Can skincare savvy Tej Lalvani pour oil on the troubled waters of Emma's pitch? Emma, what is your net profit on the £250,000 that you anticipate this year? And what was it last year? So we're looking at a profit of 10000 this year. Um, last year, we made a loss of about 40000 And are you m managing to take a salary and yes. a living? How much are you taking at the um, moment? I take 30000 including that. 30k a year. Because the only thing I'd say, Emma, is to grow the business, even if you were to go to four to 500000 you'd mm -hmm. generate probably about 100000 in net profit, and you're still paying yourself 30000 a year. But when you grow this business, you're going to have to bring in another couple of people. Mm -hmm. And we've experienced it recently with Hannah Silito. It's yes. Uh, yeah, so on skincare investment that I've got with Tej. You think you're going to make more money, but those costs just get absorbed. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing, because you're looking for returns in years three, four, five, and you're growing a business. Yeah. Any of you tried the product? Yeah, it's lovely. Really like it. No, I think what you've done is really great. And I think the potential for such a brand is definitely out there to build this really global. I think there's a lot of value I can add here. So I've got a great relationship with Superdrug. I know you want to get in there. So I am going to make you an offer. I'm willing to offer you all the money for 20%. But since I've also got the same business, Halasilito, with Peter, and we've grown that very well, I'm happy to share with Peter 10% <clears throat> for half the money. Thank you very much. Really interesting complementary set of skills you get with Tej and I. So my offer would be the same. It's a share. Mm -hmm. So you'd end up with two dragons for 75,000 for 20%. OK, thank you very much. Tej Lalvani and Peter Jones combine forces to propose a double dragon deal. But for four times the equity, the entrepreneur was willing to give away. But Deborah Meaden clearly has a feel for Emma's products, and it appears she's not going to let the dragons to her left have it all their own way. I think you present this brand perfectly. You talk about it with heart. So I'm going to make you an offer. So I'm going to offer you all of the money, and I'm going to make it competitive <laughs> for these two guys. I want 15% of the business. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Emma. Hi. The thing I believe that I can help you with, which nobody else here will be able to, is how do you tell your story out there to a consumer who is right at this price point through the TV shopping channels globally, you are perfectly primed to achieve that with. So for that reason, I would also be prepared to offer you all of the money for 15% of the business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you mind if I... Yeah, please walk? take your time. <laughs> Zara Davies matches Deborah Meaden's offer of the £75,000 Emma is seeking for 15%, throwing in her TV shopping expertise as part of the deal. With Tej Lalvani and Peter Jones wanting to split a 20% chunk of her business, all three offers are a long way from the 5% slice Emma wanted to give away. 
I really appreciate all of your offers, but is there any chance that any of you could go any lower? So what are you looking for? I would really need it to be as close to 5% as possible. Um... Honestly, from, from my perspective, I'm going to stick with where I'm at. I understand what you're trying to do, and I'd be willing to drop my half down to 7.5%, so it'll be 15%. But only if Tej would be happy with that. Yeah, but I'm willing to, to match what Peter said when you've got both of us to help you in the different areas that we can add value. I really appreciate it. Um... I will improve my offer. It isn't going to match your, what you're asking for, but I would love to go on this journey with you. So I am prepared to um, reconsider my offer and offer you all of the money for 12.5%. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate um, all of your help. Deborah, I would love to accept your offer, if that's OK. Whoa! Well done. <laughs> Whoa, well done. Good. I am so pleased. Me too. Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. It's Deborah Meaden who triumphs in the den as she lands a 12.5% stake in this organic skincare company. And Emma walks away with the £75,000 she was looking for. Deborah, that's a great investment. She's yep. a good girl. I that's really a great business. Like it. I'm over the moon to have Deborah on board. She just completely got what I was trying to achieve. I just felt like we were on the same wavelength. It was the yeah. pleasure of investing in something great. It was. And exactly. also taking us down. Yeah. And taking you yes. down. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll enjoy it. <laughs>